Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Windows 11 has a visual redesign compared to what you currently see in the user interface in Windows 10. And one of these visual redesigns to the user interface in Windows 11 is the right-click context menu over what you currently see in the Windows 10 operating system. And if you right-click on a file or folder uh, in Windows 11, you will now be greeted with the uh, new right-click context menu, which is a very important piece of the Windows operating system. And Microsoft says over in the Windows developer blog that they have changed the look and feel of uh, the right-click context menu and basically restyled it for aesthetics, you know, functionality, user friendliness. And I'm sure you will agree, it just gives it a bit more of a less cluttered and modern and minimal look as well to that context menu. Now, over the years, I'm sure you will agree, the right-click context menu in Windows has got a little bit cluttered and disorganized and a little bit, you know, um, overgrown with, you know, a lot of entries that many of us don't even use on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis. And Microsoft now has decided to do something about that in Windows 11. And, you know, currently in Windows 10, a lot of frequently used items are often spaced far apart. And the options, you know, that are, you know, um, rarely used are also added into the main context menu, which just clutters things up a bit. So, for example, you have open at the top and then two thirds of the way down, you have open with. And that's a bit impractical. And, you know, they obviously are changing this now in Windows 11 with the right-click context menu. And a lot of apps that you install also add their own entries into the right-click context menu, which can make things, a, you know, a, you know, just overpopulated, you know, cluttered, and also a bit confusing. Now, over in the Windows developer blog, uh, Microsoft um, explains, you know, basically why the ways in which they address the problems that were currently found you know in the past and currently in windows 10 and some of these and i'm just going to read these quickly uh, from the microsoft uh, blog about the right click context menu they say that common commands um now are now placed right next to where the menu is invoked so we can see here that um at the top of the right click context menu now you have open and open with which which are right next to each other and then you have all your other common um uh, commands as well compress to zip file copy uh, as path and then properties which used to be right at the bottom and now it's right at the top you know with the most uh, common commands and i think that is a very useful addition to the right click context menu and open and open with as mentioned are all grouped together app extensions are grouped together below shell verbs cloud files provider apps are placed next to the shell commands to hydrate or rehydrate the file apps uh, with more than one verb of grouped into a fly out with app attribution and i'm just reading this from the blog post of microsoft show more options uh that's right at the bottom uh loads the windows 10 context menu as is for access to low use so it's taken those rarely used uh, uh entries out and placed them in show more options which just declutters the context menu a little bit and uh, um shell verbs and apps uh, still working on porting over no commands have been removed entirely and then shift f10 uh, or the keyboard menu key will also load the windows 10 context menu over in windows 11 and those are just some of the uh, new attributes that are in the right click context menu over in windows 11 and this is the extending the context menu and shared dialogue in windows 11 this is the blog post i was talking about and what i will do is i will leave this uh, link to this uh, blog post down in the in the description box below so you can go check this out because there's a lot in here too much to mention in this uh, short video but basically if you want to know more about that redesign to the right click context menu and why microsoft is doing it you will find all the information that you will need in this windows developer blog post regarding that context menu so i hope you found this uh, video useful once again thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one